to an update on an exclusive story you'll only see here on 12 News. Robert Williams was found dead March 1st near Terry, and months later, family members still have no answers surrounding his death. Well, 12 News' is Linnea Lewis joins us now in studio with the concerns from family members. I spoke exclusively with Casey Williams, who says Robert Williams was her husband. She claims the investigation surrounding his death is at a standstill with no leads or active communication with investigators. It's been a little over five months since Robert Williams' brother reported him missing to Jackson Police February 17th. What was supposed to be a quick trip to the Capitol for Robert turned into a homicide investigation. Well, I made another Facebook post mm -hmm. um, saying that, hey, I'm his wife, I do feel that he's in danger because this is not like him. Robert's body was found near a bridge in Terry just off Owens Road March 1st. Since his death, Casey claims it's been like a game of tag, trying to figure out which law enforcement agency is taking over the case. No one wanted to touch the case because, again, he was found missing out of Jackson. He was last known to be in Byram. His car was found in Raymond, and his body was found in Terry. From when his body was found, Casey says evidence has been lost. First, with evidence being left on scene. We went back and picked up, me and my siblings went back and picked up, and... Um, they told us that it was contaminated because we shouldn't have picked it up. However, it had been sitting out there in a bag. Then to the vehicle he was in, which Casey says allegedly was stolen from the Jackson police impound. She also claims she never received an autopsy report or reviewed the decomposed body. I, I was like, are you sure? I was like, how did you identify him? How, did, how do you know it's him? He said, do tattoos. With just his ashes, determination, and the thought of her children without a father, Casey is calling on investigators to help solve the murder of the man who many knew as funny, caring, and selfless. I won't stop because no one is listening. No one, it seems that no one cares. And they might be listening, but it's just that they don't care.